Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today. My name is Abby and this is Spend More Time in the Wild. So we are all about inspiring and empowering individuals to get outside for the benefit of mental and physical health whilst building meaningful connections with the natural world and with each other. So I'm here today with my full pack because we're talking about the Cotswold Way. I'm super, super excited. It is 2020 right now. We're just on the other edge or the other side of lockdown. We've been crammed in our buildings for so long and I finally, finally, finally am able to hit the trail. Now my entire year has kind of gone kaput just like everybody else. Cotswold Way was not even on my cards, uh, but I'm super excited because there's a trail. I'm gonna walk it, I'm gonna film it and bring you guys along. So I thought what I'd do today is just run you through everything that I'm gonna take. Now my pack is quite heavy. I haven't actually uh, weighed it properly i'll add the weight in the description below just so you guys can find out what i've got but as always you know i always have more camera kit than than most uh because i shoot documentaries that's what i do um so basically i'm going to take everything out and talk it through with you um so the cotswold way just to give you a little rundown is 102 miles it runs from chipping camden down to bath so uh, i'm in the southwest right now and actually hopefully you can hear me i know there's a lot of traffic noise right now as i say lockdown is done so people are driving places <laughs> uh, but it's it's so good to be out the sun is shining and the weather looks really good actually for the Cotswold way so i'm super pumped i leave tomorrow morning this time tomorrow i'll probably be halfway through my day now speaking of days i was initially going to do the trail in five days um, but I'm struggling with so many injuries right now in my back, in my foot, in my knee, in my elbow. I'm kind of falling apart. So I've given myself the grace of being able to do this in six days, which would be really nice. And actually like day two is 12 miles. Like I haven't done a 12 mile day in forever. So <laughs> I'm gonna take it pretty leisurely. And that means I've got one or two luxury items actually. Um, I am gonna camp the whole way. I've managed to book my campsite, which is super cool. It is gonna be interesting because obviously we are on the other side of COVID-19. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with regards to hygiene and face masks and stuff but I'm just happy to be on the trail I mean I'll do what I have to do so long as I can hike <laughs> anyway um so basically let's just talk about extremities uh as let's just jump into this so I'm going to be wearing my stay wild t-shirt as I always do these are available online throughout different periods of time throughout the year um basically all the funds we raise through selling these t-shirts go towards supporting the project um 100 into making these films and our mission statement possible if at any other time you'd like to help support spend more time in the wild you'd like to help uh, change people's lives and help them with their physical and mental health then please do head on to our website you can find out about joining our patreon community if you're struggling for motivation or you want some inspiration and you want to build an amazing amazing friendship group then please do consider joining our patreon community for as little as three dollars a month um, there's so much more going on so have a look at our website links all below and uh, yeah you can get involved there but yes stay wild t-shirt I will be wearing my montane hiking pants they're actually in the wash right now so I'm just wearing shorts because it's also quite warm uh, I'll be wearing my boots I've just reproofed these these are my salomon boots um, they are Gore-Tex, but they're full of, full of holes. <laughs> uh, they are fabric. Shoelaces are yet to be threaded in. Socks. I've got one pair of socks I'm going to be hiking in initially. Uh, these are just some really cheap caramel socks. I'm wearing through them. I'm just trying to wear them out. You can see here. <laughs> I have a hole where there is not meant to be a hole. <laughs> um, but yeah, if a kit works, kit works. So I like to stick with it. And then also on the outside, I've got my camera bag. So I'm actually shooting with the camera right now that I'm going to film with, which is my Canon M50. I've got a big old lens on that. I think it's 18 to something heavy lens. And then I've got the Rode Videomic Micro on the top as well there. So that's what I shoot with predominantly. I also shoot with GoPros there in here. And I'm going to be trying the DJI Osmo Action Cam for this film as well. So I'm carrying quite a chunk of kit and chargers and batteries. We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but this is the bag. This is my new bag I bought recently. It's a bag smart bag. <laughs> I quite like the blue. Uh, but it's a little bit more robust. It's got a nice sort of sturdy bottom. Um, now I appreciate camera stuff isn't what most people are here for. But that's a little rundown with that anyway. We get to the good stuff. This, my wonderful friends, is my Osprey Exos 48. This is the old generation. This pack has done so many miles with me. I trust it with my life. <laughs> um, so I actually am supposed to be experimenting with the um, Gossamer Gear Mariposa, which is a 60 litre pack. Uh, so it's an American style pack. But I really just, I love this pack so much. And I, I packed that one up the other day and I just felt such a shame of guilt. I was like, I can't leave you, you're part of me. <laughs> so um, I'm back with the Osprey, which is cool. 
Anyway, let's unload this thing. So starting with the top, um, if you'd like to see a review, by the way, guys, of any of the kit that I'm running through, definitely let me know below. Do check the description first of all, though, because I have reviews on a lot of this stuff and you can uh, just watch the videos and hopefully that helps you decide if you want to buy any of this kit. Um, I'm not here to sell you kit. I'm just here to give you some ideas and information as to what I'm taking on the trail to help you figure out what it is that you might want to pack for your own experience. And don't forget, you don't have to camp this trail. You can be in beer, you can do it in day walks. Do what works for you. Hiking should be fun, shouldn't be stressful. Um, just make sure you're prepared, make sure you've got everything that you need. All right. Everything I've got is very personalized for me. This is my big old random stuff bag. Um, probably really don't need to carry all of this. In fact, I don't need that. This is really old tissues. <laughs> tissues! I've just got my pacing chart, which is kind of useful if I want to do some nav practice. I've got my Sawyer Micro Squeeze, uh, which is basically a water filter. The likelihood of needing this is really quite minimal. Um, I've got a chapstick, which actually I need to put in my hip belt. Um, some water filter tablets because I don't know why they're in there. This is actually predominantly just everything I had on the Tour de Mont Blanc last year. Um, so I haven't really sorted it out. I've got a massive heat rub thing. That's big. I wonder if I can... I'm going to put some of that in a pot. I don't want to carry all of that. Um, that's just to help with my back. I've got injury there. A bit of sun cream. Probably going to want to fill that up. Just to... I don't even know what sun cream that is, but it's sun cream. I have a pen. I don't need a pen. <laughs> I have my little um, Leatherman squirt, which is kind of handy to have when you're doing camera stuff. Um, it's just got a little knife on there and things. And then I have these, which are super cool, which are electrolyte drops. And actually, they probably need using. So I'll have a couple of those at the end of the day. Um, I'm taking those because it is forecast to be quite hot, sort of high 20s. So I think it would be good to just make sure I'm, I'm getting back some of the... Um, the vitamins and things that I'm losing. Vitamin, what's the word? Electrolytes, there you go, that I'm losing. I'm also gonna take an ibuprofen gel. Um, that's for my back injury predominantly. Not everybody will carry that. Um, it's just really important I have that on me. I'm not a drug taker <laughs> as such. Not a good phrase really, is it? <laughs> but um, I needs must, you know? Um, this is my toilet kit. It's just a whole bunch of bags and tissues. Actually, I probably do need some more tissues. And some hand gel never leave anything on the trail and that is the top pocket then on the underside of the top pocket you can see we've got this like mesh pocket here um, I have a spork because you always need a spork I have my head torch I should have oh, it's on. I should have some spare batteries for that but I haven't packed them also the dog is interested in the hiking <laughs> Um, so I always like to flip the top battery around so it doesn't turn on automatically. So head torch, that's my uh, Petzl Actic. Um, never failed me. And, oh, I have some toothpaste because that needs to go in the bag a little bit further. So nice little toothpaste. It's actually from India, which is cool. Uh, whilst we're here, this pack has an airscape back. Um, this is generally where I store the guidebooks and things so I can access them when I'm hiking to the map. Um, so map-wise, I've got this, which is the A to Z adventure series. Essentially, it's just the OS maps, but in a book form. So nice and easy to follow. The actual trail is, is highlighted in yellow, so just perfect. And it's nice because you feel like you're making progress as you flip through it. Uh, and then the guidebook I'm going to be using, as is pretty standard, is the Trailblazer guide. Looking pretty immaculate right now. A few dog-eared corners, and that's about it. Um, I haven't even had a chance to read this yet, so I'm going to read that tomorrow on the way up. So Cotswold Way. Um, this one is done by Trish, Tr Trisha and Bob Hain. So there we go. I actually think this is an old edition, um, but I'm going to follow it. Hip pockets. In here, I have a little knife, always good to have, and also now my lip balm. <laughs> and then in the other hip pocket is my compass, a tissue, and occasionally snackage. So there we go, compass. Yep, just about working. <laughs> So that is that. Um, on the side, so normally in this pocket I actually have my tripod which I'm shooting on now, which is a carbon fiber, fiber tripod, super light. I've um, done a fair few miles of that tripod now. I seem to like every year or every couple years get a new tripod that's lighter and <laughs> more robust and awesome. And this one's, uh, I'm really enjoying this one actually because it packs up and it fits so easily in here so I can get it out when I'm on the trail. But at the moment, just for simplicity's sake, I've got a smart water bottle. Now, I would like to say I'm not a plastic water bottle buyer. Um, I give myself an allocation of three water bottles a year. Um, so, as I say, I'm just about to start on the trail for the first time. This is one of the bottles that I've just bought. And on the other side, I've got two more. So I've got another smart water bottle here, and then I've got a smaller one. 
and this one usually takes my multivitamins and stuff in there um, just a cheap plastic bottle and then I have my titanium mug as well which just sits on the side there which is quite handy because my water bottle slots into it perfectly <laughs> all right so that's all of the extremities um, on the bottom here as well in this yellow dry bag I've got a Terra Nova laser compact one it's kind of sticking out right now uh, so when it actually comes in its packet it's about that big I could fit it in here but I quite like having a tent on the bottom of this pack because it just gives it that stability to like hold it upright <laughs> um, otherwise it just falls over so um, yeah I'm gonna pack that properly in a minute but it's a really light tent 900 grams uh, as I say the weather looks good so I'm quite happy to just use that uh, all will be well this is my little notepad I always write diary when I'm on the trail I've got my itinerary emergency contacts just information in there and a very special pen which I love which I got from Geneva when I was on the Tour de Mont Blanc it's got like trees on it <laughs> I like trees so that is that this is also a bit broken now but it does the job so why would I do anything else with it uh, predominantly is my outer layer I'm gonna wear this which is the Rad Borealis which is a stretchy soft shell jacket really does not dry very quickly when you sweat into it but um, I like to have it it's, it's reasonably light it's a windproof so that's that um, flip-flops they're in a plastic bag because they often get wet in the mornings so just got my pair of flip-flops which are full of holes but they still fit on my feet so why would I move them on this is something that no one else is probably going to have. This is a weightlifting belt. <laughs> so I wear this around my waist, um, as I say, back injury. So this just gives me that support. Um, it lifts the pack up off my shoulders considerably, which is not a good fit for the pack at all. Um, but basically what's going on in my back is my nerves are constantly overstimulating. So essentially my back thinks it's being burnt <laughs> 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which is very uncomfortable. Um, so this just takes a little bit of pressure off. Uh, I've been using that for over a year now. I've done some miles as well, which is cool. Uh, in here, I've got some snackage just for the first couple of days. Some little apples, Cox apples are the best. Just, no, russet apples are the best. What is your favorite apple? Let me know below. <laughs> uh, a couple of satsumas, I'll probably take a couple more. Um, and bananas. Mwah. Everybody loves a banana. <laughs> uh, up next, waterproof cover for the packs. This fits over everything. And that's also attached by a carabiner so it doesn't blow away but they actually to be fair the Osprey waterproof covers are quite good because they clip around the front so they're never gonna blow away which I like um, and then here is my Iceland hat is my gloves and some fingerless gloves as well I really doubt I'll need the gloves but it's not just about me on the trail it's about anybody else I come across not that this is a remote trail or anything um, so basically they're just in there so I'm carrying them <laughs> All right, let's have a look. That there is the outer. I'm gonna keep the fruit out because I'm gonna squish it otherwise. Okay, so let's have a look inside, shall we? This is not packed quite how I will carry it when I'm hiking, um, but it's still everything in here is what I am gonna carry. So first up, I've got charging gear. Um, I've heard that there's not really very many charging stations on this um, walk and I really need my phone on because I've got some calls and stuff I need to do along the way. So I wouldn't normally carry this, but I'm taking the full on anchor power bank. This one is just massive. It's a power core 20,100. So big, big, heavy actually, to be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of sad about taking this, but needs must. So that's something I have to take. Um, cameras, I've got two cameras I'm taking. So this is the Osmo Action Cam DJI. This is the GoPro Hero 7. Do I trust this GoPro? No, I do not. <laughs> Everything I've shot so far is on the GoPro, but I'm having so many issues with losing files, corrupting files, overheating, freezing, draining batteries like nobody's business. So some uh, Ian, my friend Ian, who is a Patreon of Wild, was so kind to send me this Osmo Action Cam. So I'm gonna give it a go on this trail. Um, I've only got a couple of batteries, so not everything will be filmed with it, but super pumped to, to give it a shot just a couple days out and, and see how it gets on. So those two, and I film on a little micro tripod predominantly. Um, I haven't actually packed the batteries because they're charging right now, but I've also got my MP3 player, which I usually have in my pocket to listen to if ever I need to, and that's a lens cap. So that's that bag. My electronic bags actually need sorting out because there's another one in here. 
Up next, waterproof trousers. So these are the Berg House Pack Light trousers. So I've got a review on these. Super, super awesome. I've used them again for a couple of years. I recommend them to everybody. <laughs> uh, they are everything you need in a waterproof or a pair of waterproof trousers. They're just absolutely fantastic. So can't fault those guys, other than the fact that the proofing is gone, so I need to reproof them. The same goes for this, which is my mountain equipment Lahotse jacket. Just realized the plane going over. Hopefully the sound is okay. I'm so en engrossed in this conversation. Uh, so this jacket has served me again a lot of years. It smells very damp. Uh, the proofing is pretty much gone, um, but there we go. I'm taking it anyway. There's a hard shell jacket. Um, you can definitely carry lighter if you want to. I think it weighs about 500 grams, but for me, it it's just a great jacket. It fits really well. It's got all the features that I need. Pit zips, pockets. Love it. All right, next up, next up. Um, this is my other electronics bags. As I say, I need to sort them out. Normally I have a camera bag and then I just have a stuff bag. Um, it's just a load of GoPro stuff in there. So that's that. So I have two electronic bags. Up next, I've got this startling pink bag. This is my food bag. So this might be interesting for people. I have to admit, I haven't done any research into sort of resupply points along this trail, where there's stores, what I can pick up. So right now I've jammed in the absolute max I'm gonna take. And as I say tomorrow, I'm gonna read the guidebook just before I start walking and just check out where there are different shops and amenities to buy things. But um, essentially what I've got in here, whether I take all this or not, I'm not sure, is some very now crumpled biscuits. <laughs> oh, nom. I have some multivitamin tablets just because I really enjoyed drinking those in the morning. They sort of help me stay hydrated. Um, I've got a bunch of coffee sachets because coffee. <laughs> so there we go. I have <laughs> a favorite of the wild Patreon community, banana loaves. Woohoo! <laughs> Scoochie banana loaves. These banana loaves. Saurine. So good. Honestly, we should be sponsored by Saurine. If you work for Saurine, please get in touch because everybody eats these guys. <laughs> um, and another one. Then I've got more coffee. And I'm actually carrying some main meals, um, nice and simple. A bag of couscous, Lidl's, I've got from um, Switzerland, which I haven't eaten yet, a minestrone soup sachet, which is a really big sachet. It's supposed to serve six people. <laughs> then I have got a real Termat couscous packet. This is super cool. It weighs 121 grams, it's tiny. Um, so, it, But it's got five, 509 calories in that not bad so you just add water to all of these actually super super simple um, then I've got a whole bunch more stackage let's have a look shall we Ugh. porridges for each morning um, I'm not always gonna eat the porridge first thing when I wake up I'm gonna experiment with actually like hiking a little bit and then eating the porridge further along the trail which I think would be quite nice just to get a good view um, I've got some cashew bars and date bars these are always really enjoyable for me Tea bags, absolute must. Um, one bag of oat cakes because I had them left over, and some random Horlix things in case I need some comfort in my life. So there we go, that is that. A uh, whole bunch of random stuff. As I say, I'm not sure I'm gonna take all of this. And honestly, under nor normal circumstances, I reckon you could get away with like buying meals along the way. Um, but bearing in mind we're just out of COVID, most of the pubs and stuff are requiring booking. Um, and I don't want to commit to anything, so I'm just carrying stuff. So basically, of course, I have five nights to feed myself, so I'm hoping that I can pick up two nights of just random stuff along the way. Probably, knowing me, some uh, carrots and hummus, or cucumber and hummus, because best food ever. <laughs> all right, so I'll sort all this out in a second. That's my food bag. As I say, I'm taking a luxury on this trail. I'm taking a book. So this is just the lightest book I can find. There's a birthday present for me actually from my friend Alison, which is really nice, um, called The Living Mountain by Nan Shepherd. So it's about um, her exploring the Cairngorm Mountains in Scotland. So that'd be nice to just actually read. And because my days, at least the first few are quite short, um, I can just enjoy myself. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Up next is my clothes bag. Um, I haven't compressed this very well, I have to admit. So I'm, I've got another pair of socks, hiking socks. I've got my sleeping socks, which are nice and woolly. I've got a pair of pants. <laughs> I'm actually taking two pairs. I don't need two pairs of pants. One pair of pants. And then in here, I've got my montane trousers. So these are really light, 
Uh, what, what are these? Um, I can't remember what uh, specific one these are, but basically they're really, really, really light. And it's nice because I can roll them up into shorts as well. Um, I have a round t-shirt, which I sleep in, and I have a slightly thicker insulating layer. Again, Montaigne. Um, I'd like to say I'm not sponsored by Montaigne. I would like to be, but I'm not. Uh, just so happens they have the lightest stuff for me when I'm on the trail, and it fits really well. So that's why I carry it. So that's a nice blue jacket. This is all dry clothes. This is stuff I'll be in my tent in. I will never wear this hiking. I'm literally just gonna wear the one pair of clothes when I'm hiking. The only thing I'll change, apparently, is my pants halfway through and my socks halfway through. So that is that. Okay, next I've got my Patagonia, Patagonia um, Nano Puff jacket, which I love. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of kit. Not <laughs> quite the lime green it came in. Quite dirty now. Um, I really should wash that at some point. Hygiene, what's that? <laughs> um, first aid kit, that's a personalized first aid kit. This will actually be higher probably in the pack when I'm actually hiking so I can get to it easier. My stove setup, so this is a Soto pot in here. I've got the Soto stove. I've got a jet boil gas and a couple of lighters. So essentially um, it just packs away into this, which is really nice. That'll be my obviously food pot um, for the soup and the couscous if I need to. The real turn mat one though, I can just eat out of the packet. Also, oh, my legs are going numb, so I'm just gonna sit cross-legged now. <laughs> Uh, then I've got here, this is my um, Thermo Res Neo Air, this is my second one because on the Rob Roy Way last year it burst. <laughs> the baffles inside burst which was kind of terrifying. I'm really glad though because I have used this a few times this year just in the garden and staying in my friend's tree house so I've got that to use which is super exciting. Um, this is my wash kit, just a little bit of shampoo, peppermint foot cream. If you're interested in how I look after my feet when I'm on the trail, you can watch my foot care video. Um, peppermint foot cream, I basically swear by. I don't really look after a lot, but I really look after my feet. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, is my sleeping bag. So this is my um, Rab Neutrino uh, 400. So again, got a review on that. Super great bag, um, done a lot of miles with me. It sits at the bottom, so it gives the bag its shape and pretty happy with it I have to say. So now that I'm thoroughly surrounded this is my kit for the Cotswold Way. Um, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. I don't need my passport that's for sure uh, but it's uh, it's nice to be able to share this with you so I'm just going to pop all this back in and um, well that's it really. So guys I want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, as I say like I don't pride myself on being an ultralight backpacker I pride myself on being a functional backpacker. So everything I have I use um, this is the first time in my life I've ever carried a book. <laughs> uh, obviously I do carry a lot of camera gear. I do tend to carry quite a lot of snack gear because I eat a lot when I'm on the trail. Keeping myself fueled, especially when I have bigger mileage days, but also when I'm bored, you know, let's just be honest. <laughs> um, and yeah, so obviously what everybody takes on the trail is slightly different. If I was doing a day hike, I wouldn't have most of this stuff, but um, this is it. This is me, super simple. And it's so rewarding just being able to carry this on your back uh, with you wherever you go this is all you need to sustain you absolutely love it so guys thank you so much for watching here today uh, if you've got any comments any positive feedback uh, anything you want to say um, constructive feedback pop it in the comments below as i say please do consider joining our patreon community fantastic bunch of people all over the world i'm um, so much getting on to, to get involved with there's giveaways there's live sessions there's um, podcasts we're actually going to be bringing out for the patreon community as well um, there's kit lists there's gear reviews it's all going to be there i'm really growing it this next couple of months so i'm super super excited to share that with you and to every single patreon who is on board right now thank you because i could not be running wild without you right now you guys are amazing but to be fair everybody's amazing life is pretty amazing really when you just open your eyes and uh, pursue what you're passionate about so guys thank you again for watching and until next time enjoy your adventures wherever they may be and stay wild. I'll see you soon.